Hello and welcome. This is the final video in the C4 the periodic table series of revision videos and this is on water purification. The aim for this video is that after watching it you should be able to describe how we purify water. You should be able to give some advantages and disadvantages of the desalinization of seawater. We should be able to explain the importance of each stage in water purification and then go on to describe how to test for sulfate ions, halide ions and to construct equations for these reactions. Right, first thing, most of the water that we drink in this country comes from a few different sources. They are reservoirs, rivers, those come from underground aquifers. Aquifers are rocks that contain lots and lots of water. Uh, so, but as well as water they might contain a lot of other dissolved substances and we need to remove these dissolved substances before they're safe to drink or before they're safe to use in industry. And there are a number of steps that we have to go through. The first one is sedimentation. This is basically what happens in a reservoir. The water is left. Water, when it's moving, picks up lots of dirt, and when it's left, left stand, then those bits of dirt, those, those heavy pieces of sediment, will fall to the bottom and settle. No matter how long you leave it to settle, however, there will still be small suspended particles within that, uh, within that water. What you have to do with them is to remove them by filtration. So you filter them through beds of gravel and beds of clean sand, and uh, that removes all the tiny, small suspended pieces of dirt that might be left within them. That process leads to fairly clean water. The final step, however, is to get rid of the stuff you can't see, and that's chlorination. Chlorination is used just like it is in a swimming pool to kill bacteria and to kill microbes. However, it's done so at a much lower level. That process is called chlorination. As you already know, chlorine isn't a very nice chemical. So what we have to do then is test that water. We have to test the water to make sure it is safe. It's not just chlorine that we test for, but that is one of the things that we're going to look at how we test. So firstly, how do we test for sulfate ions? Well, sulfate ions are basically things that make water hard. So the presence of sulfate ions can be quite bad and is not very advisable to drink a large quantity of sulfate ions. We can test for it using something called barium chloride. When barium chloride reacts with anything that contains sulfate ions, for example, here we have sodium sulfate, the chloride and the sulfate will swap places. That leaves us with barium sulfate and the two leftover parts come together to form, in this case, sodium chloride, which is just normal salt. The key thing is that the barium sulfate is a solid, it is a precipitate. That's what a, what a precipitate is, it's a solid in a liquid. And it's white, so you can clearly see the formation of that white precipitate in this boiling tube here. So that is the positive result for the presence of sulfate ions, is a white precipitate is formed. And when this happens, you basically just swap position with the metal ions there. I have to do a little bit of working out of where the balancing goes, but essentially, that's the first stage. Swap over the metal ions and you should be able to work out where everything else goes. The other test is a test for what's called halide ions. Halide ions are all the ions from group 7. So, your chlorines, your bromines, your iodines. You use silver nitrate to test for these things. When silver nitrate reacts with any halide ion, the halide ion will displace the nitrate ion. That will basically lead to the formation of a silver halide, which in the reaction up here is silver bromide, and will leave the whatever, in this case sodium, uh, attached to the nitrate that was originally in the silver nitrate. The two non-metal ions again swap places. The difference in the positive results is seen here. Chlorine produces this white precipitate. Bromine produces what's described as a cream precipitate. And iodine produces what's described as a yellow precipitate. This is 
an even more straightforward symbol equation to do because essentially you don't even have to think about the balancing most of the time you just literally swap the silver and the metal there when when you're writing out the products to give you sodium nitrate uh, sodium yeah sodium nitrate and silver bromide so they are the key stages in water testing sedimentation filtration chlorination and the testing the final thing to say is in some parts of the world there is not a lot of fresh water the only source of water is seawater and you can extract water from the sea however it requires a lot of energy so that leads to very expensive water it also requires specialist equipment it's only really done in areas of the world where there is an extreme shortage of, um, of normal drinking water a lot of the Gulf states like um, Abu Dhabi, uh, Dubai and places like that use a lot of water desalinization because their water demands have gone up and rainfall has not. It allows you to provide water in, in areas where there is not a lot of it. So basically the major advantage is that you provide H2O in difficult areas. So in summary, water purification involves sedimentation, filtration and chlorination. Desalinization produces very pure water but a very, very high energy cost. We use barium chloride to test for sulfate ions which forms a white precipitate and we use silver nitrate to test for the halide ions and you get a white precipitate with chloride ions, cream precipitate with bromide ions and a yellow precipitate with iodide ions. And a little little trick, little hack to, um, to construct equations is you basically swap over the places of the negative ions taking care to check the number of charges and balance the equation. Right, thank you very much for watching. My name is Mr. Clee. I hope you've enjoyed this series and I hope you find, you find it useful and good luck in your exams.